but it's a chance to celebrate some of the most inspirational young people in our area. Nominations for the Bristol Young Heroes Awards 2020 are now open. They're holding a launch event this morning at City Hall in Bristol. And a reporter, James Hansen, is there. Morning, James. Morning, Claire. Yeah, welcome along to City Hall, right in the centre of Bristol, of course. If you were watching last night on TV, the Pride of Britain Awards, well, basically, the Bristol Young Heroes Awards are a bit like the Bristol version of that, but exclusively for young people. They were set up uh, about seven years ago by the uh, then Mayor of Bristol help showcase and celebrate uh, young people who have overcome adversity to achieve greatness or uh, gone above and beyond to make a positive difference in their community. The 2020 awards are being launched this morning, so nominations are now open and the organisers want you to get nominating. Uh, Amy Kington is from Community of Purpose, the Bristol-based organisation behind the awards. Good morning. Good morning. And we've also got uh, Catherine Rowe as well, who is one of the most recent winners. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Amy, we'll start with you. Tell us about Bristol Young Heroes, for people who don't know about these awards have never been along before never nominated what's it all about so this is a celebration of the great and the good uh, amongst our communities here in in bristol so it's like the pride of britain you're absolutely right but this is centered around children and young people age 11 to 25 and we're really encouraging uh, everybody in in you know in the city now to consider those exceptional young people that go above and beyond the call of duty to make bristol a better place and there are loads of different categories and uh, Catherine Catherine, who of course won at the most recent awards, you won in the sustainability hero category, is that right? Uh, yeah. And, and what's, what is that category for? Um, it's for helping out in like the environment of everything. Wow, so when, when you won earlier this year, was that a complete surprise to you? What was that like? Uh, yeah, I didn't actually know I was getting nominated until I f uh, my mum told me I was officially nominated. So. It was a complete surprise. And what's some of the work you've done in the area of uh, environment and sustainability? So I helped build um, an environmentally help friendly youth club up in Knoll and we built a roundhouse and we've got, it's in an allotment so we do a lot of gardening and building and like helping out the environment. And I know that clearly you didn't do that because you wanted to win an award, you did that because you care passionately about the environment. But it must be a great thing that there is something like the Bristol Young Heroes Award to recognise people like you. Yeah, I think it's really important because it does so much for the people who do get awarded and who even if they only get nominated, it does so much for them. It boosts confidence and just builds up hope for the future. Amy, what are some of the other categories that we've got? So we've got caring hero, action hero, environmental hero, superhero, uh, learning hero. So there's a vast array of categories. If there is a young person out there, then I'd encourage um, them to visit our website, which is www.communityofpurpose.com and get nominating people because we want to shine a spotlight on, you know, Bristol's best young people. Yeah, and if someone knows a young person, they don't have to be a young person themselves, they can nominate someone else, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we get nominations from a broad spectrum of uh, individuals and organisations. Um, this is about, you know, recognising those young people from all different walks of life. So you might be a school teacher, you might be a youth worker, you might be a mum, um, you know, you might be a brother, a sister. Um, you know, it might be that, that the young person that you're nominating has saved a life, is cared for a family member, or has raised huge sums of money for charity. What Whatever that special, you know, gift, passion, talent is, we want to unearth that here in Bristol. Had you been to many award ceremonies before, Catherine? Um, none as big as Bristol <laughs> Young Heroes. What was it like as, a, as an evening? It was uh, spectacular. It ran a bit rougher than we thought it would. It was a bit late, but it was really fun. <laughs> well, that's the thing, Amy. If nothing else, you get a posh night out. Yeah, it's a party night. I mean, it's an opportunity to put your glad rags on and uh, feel, you know, amazing. We've got some incredible sponsors that um, invest in those young people. Um, you know, Slaters on Union Street give all of the guys free suit hire. Um, Cabot Circus give all of the young people a voucher to just go and make sure that they feel, you know, pretty wonderful on the night. Yeah, well, uh, nominations open this morning, so get nominating. Uh, Amy, Catherine, thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, Claire, if you want to nominate, um, remember that you can do it. Just go to communityofpurpose.com. Uh, later on, I'm going to be speaking to uh, one of the judges of this year's um, Bristol Young Heroes Awards, uh, the Bristol actor Joe Sims, and also uh, speaking to another one of last year's winners. I nominate you as Action Hero 2020 because you look like a little action man. Uh, do I? Yeah, you've got the same hair. <laughs>
<laughs> right. I'll send you okay. a picture. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you.